Uh, items. Is it an infinite use case? For warping between towns. Don't we have teleport gems, though? I thought so. Maybe it's... Yeah. Oh, it's... Okay, that's a different one, though. The maybe, one... uh... Maybe that one can be used infinite times. Oh, no. Teleport gem versus teleport orb. Okay. Yeah, the orb... Maybe the orb can be used as much as... I guess we'll find out. I did... I assume it is? That seems kind of broken that they would give you that, like, this early in the game, though. Doesn't it? Are we, are we still that early in the game? We're still on disc one. Oh, well, yeah. Early enough. <laughs> but... It'd be like if they I just mean... gave you the high wind right away instead of the... Bronco. Well, you can still only go to places that you've already been to. I suppose. And I've played, I played other RPGs too, where you get like a spell that can, that can teleport you to, that does pretty much the same thing, teleports you to, between towns that you've already visited. Mm-hmm. Did I mark the page, or did I not like a dummy? There we go. Alright, so she's like in the stacks. Which, these are not the stacks. Um, okay. I think I went to the wrong place. <laughs> I don't remember where the library is. This kind of looks like a library, right? Maybe? Yeah, this is like the school, so... If I was a library, I'd be in a school, right? I thought it looked more like a church. No, this is... Yeah, this is a school. Maybe it has a library in it? Somewhere? Aha! You! Okay, maybe not you. How about you? Yeah, you're karate running around. Have not? How do you do? I'm called karate I eagerly await a report from Mr. Day. He was sent off on some crazy... I mean, he's on assignment. I pity him. He was sent by magic to a place that cannot be reached by land or sea. Poor fellow. Okay. Alright, we need Lily. Can I use it here? I probably can't use it here. No, I can't. I didn't think so, but, you know. Can I run off the edge of the world? I can. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, no! <laughs> I do like how she grabs her that... dirt when she falls. <laughs> that seems like a serious safety hazard. Right? No, no guardrails or anything? Well, they are like in a magic time box, so... Hmm. Maybe you just fall for a little bit and then like teleport somewhere, but I mean... If that's the case, like it just puts you back on safe ground then I would just, like, constantly be jumping off the edge. <laughs> okay. Teleport or maybe I shouldn't... Well, Lily's got to use it, right? Okay, so it says... Uh, switch to Lily as your main character and use the orb again. Doesn't say where you need to go. Can you teleport straight to the craft, too? Oh, you can! That's interesting. Yep, there you go. Uh, yep. Good job, Lily.
Island Outpost. Cool. Uh, is there anything here that I should be made aware of? Oh, there's something. Where is it? You hear it? Is it inside? Maybe. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe up on the... Can you get up on the roof? Um. Did you come here from the outside? I mean, of course you did. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I've been researching quest archery here. Can you tell? Of course you can. <laughs> This is my studio. After years of research, I finished a summary of the lineage of High Level Magic. <laughs> high Level Magic? What do you think? Surprised? Of course you are! <laughs> it's Mandark. I guess... <laughs> okay. I guess I have come to this remote island from years ago and finally paid off. Crest Source... <laughs> Calm down, dude. Crest sorcery to surpass all that has come before, you wanna know, right? I just I just know how you feel. I'd love to teach it. I'd love to teach it to everyone, understand, don't you? No, there's a favor I need to ask. You'll hear me out, right? You'll hear me out, right? I want you to deliver a book on high level magic to Karani in the Shalalana region. They must be able to impart the mysteries of high-level magic to guild members across the land. This is the magic book I wrote, titled High Crest. Please deliver it for me. High Crest card. Uh, I forgot to tell you, my name is Mandark. Mr. Mandark. Tell them I sent you. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Oh, there's a chest over there. Oh, what the hell? Wait. Oh, I see. You have to. <clears throat> yeah. I think I see. Does that go all the way around? No. Do you need to kick part of the fence down? I don't know. Let's go investigate. Oh. That might have been it, though. Like, because I hit the run button, so he started to run off that direction? Mm hmm Or, what's this way? Can we go this way? <gasps> there we go. Ha-ha! Okay. What the hell do you do? Timothy! Tell me your secrets. Aw, oh, that would be amazing. I really don't want to waste a slot, though. What are you carrying? Poison, what are you carrying? Ash! It is now your job to carry that. <laughs> That's how we do. He'll be okay. Poison is annoying, though. But... I think we'll be fine. Alright, well, I'm gonna use up these crystals, because... What's the point of having them if I have unlimited warps now? Yeah. Yeah. Don't understand, but whatever. Alright, and then it said we had to go back there for him to teach us? Yeah, okay. How many crests do I have? I have one. Well, he should be able to delete. Yeah, you should still be able to take some of your level 1 spells that you don't think you'll need anymore. And uh, convert those.
Hey, I found your dude. Why, it's a High Crest magic book from Mr. Day. I mean, Mandark. That's wonderful. Mr. Mandark really came through for us. Thank you for bringing it to me. I will go and spread the word of these new crest spells. Good day to you, sir. Which, theoretically, that should mean that now every shop can teach you level 2 spells, but apparently not, because the game hates us. <laughs> right? Like, wouldn't that... Like, in infer that all the shops are gonna do that? Mm-hmm. We're uh, probably going to end off the video after we do this level 2 spell stuff. Eh? Um, there we go. <laughs> hey, buddy. Teach me. Did you deliver the hind crust for me? You delivered it, right? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yep, we sure can. Awesome. All right, what do we want? Armor down. <gasps> 70 FP. Holy bonkers. Ooh. And I guess therein lies the trade-off. Well, this one's only 10. Have elemental damage. <laughs> wow. High heal 55. Non elemental spell. <coughs> I don't think we have any non elemental spells. Revives character to full HP. That could be worth it. Nope, I, I kind of wanted Suna. <laughs> I think that's a good one. I think so. Um, do we have... Spells, enemy spells... So I don't really need Rise and Shine anymore, right? Because we have Insuna. Well, I think part of what that does is it also prevents sleep from happening in the first place. Mm. Well, I think for now, since it is so high, um, we'll just kind of stick with what we have until we get a little more leveled up. You think that's a good idea? I think so. I mean, I don't really foresee using Lily a whole lot anyway, though. Just because Tim's OP. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how you get high-level magic in this game, apparently. Uh, feels like it's a lot sooner than in the first game. Yeah, I think I feel like it is too. Because in the first game it wasn't until like we were at least halfway through the game. Mm -hmm. But again, like I think as we saw, the trade-off is the higher FP cost. Which we didn't have to worry about in the first game. We were at t right now. Yeah. Well, we you had mana on the first one. Well, yeah, but it, I don't think the the MP cost of the level 2 spells was quite as restrictive. Yeah. But also in this game once you hit that FP, 
you have unlimited casts at that yeah. level. Yeah. Until you use uh, one of the special moves. So, I don't know. That's an interesting system, but yeah. I mean, just to cast one of those spells, Lily would have to at least attack twice. Or attack and get hit. Yeah. Which, I mean, we're killing most things first round anyway. And then the bosses, I mean, we pretty much, we, we handle fairly well, I think. Mm-hmm. So, for now, I don't think it's fully necessary. So... But yeah, there's uh, level 2 magic, and we're on page 48 of the book, out of, where's the last, like, boss fight? 113, mm. and the actual guide didn't start until page 10, so... So we may actually be getting close to the halfway point. I don't know if disc 2 marks the halfway point, or mm. if it's just like they couldn't fit everything on one disc, so here's a little bit extra. Yeah, that that could be. I mean, looking at like some of the Final Fantasies on this, on the PS1, it was like, like in with Final Fantasy 7, a big chunk of the game is actually disc one. Um, disc two is kind of a, I would say the second Cut like thing. no, it's like the the last third of the game, I would say. and then and then the last disc is just the final dungeon. And like all the all the cutscene the end game cutscenes and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And with Final Fantasy VIII, I guess, the first disc, I mean, most of the space on the disc is probably all the cutscenes. Yeah, that's that's the big reason why it was those games were split into so many discs. But they did look immaculate. <laughs> and they still do today. Except for Seven. Seven looks like garbage. <laughs> looks like you're playing with Lego Man. When you're not in battle. Like, fingers? Who needs fingers? Everybody has Popeye arms. <laughs> I eat me spinach. So, anyway, that's going to do it for this time. Next time, we'll go to courtly, quarterly, whatever. Um, and then say, Hey, man, what's going on? And they'll be like, Hey, they all went that away. <laughs> and then we get to do stuff. So, uh, yeah. See you guys. Bye.